and I'm merely a spectator. I'm just a viewer like you guys. And sometimes, if it all works out, I'm, I'm in awe and I have this sense of wonder. And sometimes, I don't. I'm more like the context. I'm the director who creates the music to which the paintings will dance. In this series it's all about the movement within the painting. These are dancing paintings instead of dancing painters. That's it. see the history of painting from the following perspective. Where a painter moves and performs actions which determine how the painting looks. And if these actions and movements were performed correctly, with enough craftsmanship and enough experience and talent and brains behind them, the paintings were good. And throughout history the painters became better at this movement, their skill of painting, and so the paintings became better. And this sense of movement all got maximized with painters like Jackson Pollock. Because Jackson Pollock, his movement, it was dance. He danced around painting, and, and the painting became a document of his dance, of his movement, of his action this gestural action paintings and and of course that's good that's fine that's fine but we, we had that and and, um, and for me painting is nothing like that it's not about my movement it's not about my actions it's not about my dance it's not about me. And you just go with the flow. That's what watercolor really is. And all the good watercolor artists, they know that in the end they have to let the water be itself. You cannot manipulate it and then you know. You just have, you have to let it be. Become what it can become. And you're just guiding. little pushes in the back, you know, and uh, nothing more, nothing more than that. Um, um, not a basement but a, 
Seller? No, not Seller, that's the same. The Attic. Attic. 